In this video, we're going to crop an image in Fireworks. There are several tools that we use in Fireworks for cropping. The crop tool up in the top, tools, is this one right here that looks like uh, two angle brackets together. That is your crop tool. In the properties panel, at the bottom, we will be able to see what size through our cropping uh, and we can type a few things in. We also have access to changing the canvas size and changing our image size, our resolution, and how many pixels across it is. Another tool we can use is Fit to Canvas and I'd like to show that to you. Fit to Canvas, it depends on what kind of picture that you have or something that you've created. This is an icon that I created for my farm, farmer's market and it has transparent background. A transparent background is represented in Fireworks and Photoshop or other Adobe products by the gray and white uh, pattern that you see in the background here. That means that it is transparent, there's no color there. In this instance, the extended areas of any bitmap, pixels, or your artwork itself, as in this piece right here, I have vector art mainly, you can click the Kit Fit to Canvas button and the canvas size will fit and crop out anything left over. That's a very easy task, task to uh, obtain. Okay, to undo this, and you can undo as many times as you need to to get it right, use a control key and hit the Z key at the same time or command Z. Control or command Z to undo. I'm going to use the crop tool by clicking on it. The only thing that I need to do uh, using my mouse is go from corner to corner, opposite corners. If I click in the top left, then I'm going to click and drag to the opposite corner, lower right. Okay, now this is, does not look very perfect, but by visually looking at it, I could move the bounding box, which you see here, all the way around. And these corner little nodes are little handles that I could move around and adjust. Now you don't want to crop anything out, so be careful. You could zoom in and view it very closely to see where you're at. This looks a little bit too close. Sometimes you want a little bit of room around. Okay, <laughs> it looks like I've uh, clicked elsewhere and I lost my crop. So I'm going to try it again. Get in there close. And double click to set the crop. Okay, another way that you can do this is the canvas size. Now this is not a perfect way, especially if you have a bitmap um, layers in your picture. But using the canvas size, it brings up a pop-up window and it tells me how many pixels that I have. And it also allows me to say where I want my picture and the outer edges to be cropped. So if I click in the top here, then the crop will be underneath it. Okay, I'm going to set this in the middle. And what if I want it to be a square? So I would type in 1001 to match. Click OK. And I see I have a problem here at the top. However, zooming out, I can select everything in the layers. Well, not exactly. I've got some locked layers, so that's not good. I need to unlock my layers. Locking layers means that I don't disturb the artwork, but here I do. And I can move my artwork downward. 
And we have some uh, way of centering it. You can see the little cross that was there. Okay, another way that I can crop this, which I'd like to get in a little bit closer, um, is to use the properties panel and the crop tool in combination with each other. Okay, down in the properties panel, after I click and drag in the properties panel, um, I want to bring that in a little bit and let's say we go with uh, 900 pixels across and the width 900 pixels across you can see here I've typed it in alright X and Y position well visually I'm gonna have to set that and I can move my crop around I can use the up and down arrow keys to move this uh, bounding box around. That might fine tune it just a little bit. And double click and I set the crop. One other thing I want to crop is a bitmap image. I'm going to open up something for my farmer's market. I have a bunch of pictures that I shot um, up at the farmer's market nearby. And we'll open this one up with the corn. Okay, it's a bitmap image. And again, with the crop tool, I can click and drag from the top right corner or top left corner. And I want this to be a square. You don't have to make a square, but I want to hold down the shift key so that it makes a perfect square. And I want to move it to the opposite end. I want to include this piece of uh, corn without the husk and double click. Of course I want to move it around so again I'm, I could um, use the up and down arrow keys. It's a very fine-tuned way of uh, placing. Double click and we're good to go. And that's cropping in fireworks.